friends, today we have got a long term review of Maruti Suzuki Celerio VXI MT optional. When I say long term review, I mean this vehicle has been driven 25,000 kilometers and after two and a half years of ownership, I'm here to give you a review. And I'm the first owner of this vehicle and I'll be covering what is the mileage I'm getting after two and a half years, how much the money which I have spent on service centers, how much it has driven, what are the accessories I have bought here. And uh, those who are willing to buy this vehicle uh, can surely take a clue from this video and uh, they can decide on buying. So do watch it till end. Here is the side profile of the car. The rain spoiler which you see is an accessory. The car doesn't come with the colored door handle or body colored uh, mirror. Electric OVRM is not given and alloy wheel is available only in ZXI. This vehicle is VXI. Right, so after side profile, here's the rear profile. Uh, VXI auto gear shift badging you see. Uh, this is the rear parking camera. Uh, this is an accessory. I'll tell you how you can use it as a complete package and uh, with a set of all other accessories. Uh, so that your car gives you better you know experience so here's the boot uh, which has a 60 40 split option you can extend the boot partially uh, like this and if you need further extension you can again you know bend the seat and extend your boot completely so this partial or complete uh, boot extension is very handy when you are coming with the unexpected luggage so after rear profile, here comes the interior. The car comes with all four door power window as a standard and VXI MT optional. This charcoal finish, which you see is an accessory. Uh, the uh, speaker is accessory. The car comes fitted with the, in the rear doors. There is a place to keep one liter water bottle, which you see. And uh, here is the seat belt uh, for rear passenger. Here is the seat belt for kids. This is very good. And uh, this is a place to keep water bottle. Uh, you can use it as per your choice because it's closable and um, you know, sometimes I keep what wallet, ticket, coins, etc. So you can also use it as per your choice. So the total number of uh, water bottle which you can carry is uh, two you see in front and one you can keep here, two in the door. So total five you can, five liter water bottle you can carry. Now coming to leg space, uh, my height is five feet, eight inches and still you see there are empty uh, like two and a half inches of spaces available. So this kind of space is considered very good in budget cars. So after interior, here comes the front. This is the four button for power window control. Driver side is automatic. If your kids are playing with the power buttons, then you can stop them by pressing it. If you press it, the three doors power button uh, uh, will get inactive. Uh, however, driver side will rem remain unaffected and this is the button to lock and lock this also has uh, speed sensing uh, door lock and lock feature and there's some more space to keep your stuff and this is uh, for overriding switch of your malfunctioning central locking if your central like locking has malfunction you can override with this switch and this is to adjust your headlight focus this is the steering and this is multi-information display. I'll be explaining further. This is one airbag, and that is second airbag. And this is auto gear shift, uh, a gearbox, uh, neutral, reverse, drive, manual, plus, and then minus. And uh, this is the space to keep your charger. You can use an accessory um, USB charging and device, and then you can plug it in and then you can keep your mobile here and charge it. This is the AC panel, uh, control panel, and this is this is an accessory so, uh, Sony 6-inch uh, touchscreen Bluetooth enabled uh, um, uh, audio system. This is an accessory. This is multi-information display, I've already told, and, uh, and this is uh, auto dimming, manual, manual dimming mirror, rear view mirror, and this is drive co-passenger uh, co um, sun visor with vanity mirror there is handle and this is driver side uh, sun visor with ticket holder and there are the lights 
Right. Right. Coming to the auto gear shift mode, here is uh, the auto gear shift uh, gearbox, which is the USB of this car. Neutral, drive, reverse, manual, plus and minus. So let's say if you want to drive the vehicle in automatic mode, you can simply, uh, you know, press the lever at D and the vehicle will start driving in automatic mode. will change the gears automatically for you. And in case you want to use the manual mode, you simply have to press the lever and shift it towards M side. And in, for increasing the gear, you can simply plus it. In you want to re reduce the gear, you can simply minus it. And one uh, thing in the manual, uh, you know, mode is the beauty is that in case your speed is reduced, so it will automatically reduce the gears for you. So most of the time we will be using plus only because once our speed reduces, the vehicle reduces the gear automatically. And the shift from manual to drive is as easy like this. So in case you are driving, you suddenly feel that you, are, uh, uh, you need to drive in manual mode, you can simply switch. You want to come back, you can simply switch back. So this doesn't require any, any precaution. It is just like this movement. You can change from manual to drive. Now, how to start the vehicle? Well, let's come here. It is written here to start engine press brake pedal with gear lever at N. Press brake pedal to change gear D and R. So, so to, to start, you need to make sure that the gear lever is at N. Let's say if it is not at N, if it is at R or D, what will happen? Nothing will happen. The gear, uh, the vehicle will not start. Unlike in manual vehicle, if your vehicle is in any of the gear, and if you start the vehicle, uh, the vehicle takes jump. So that doesn't ha happen here in this automatic uh, vehicle. And uh, one more thing, this vehicle, when you are driving in bumper to bumper traffic, so sometime in manual vehicle, what will happen? I have experienced it, that uh, in case you are driving at a higher gear and uh, suddenly you have to accelerate, then your vehicle stops suddenly. That doesn't happen any time in this vehicle. So your vehicle never stops in any signal, any traffic, any bumper to bumper traffic situation. That is the one beauty of it. Now coming to pedals, these are the two pedals. There's no clutch. And uh, the left one, uh, the horizontal one is your brake. The right one, vertical one is your accelerator. So you will be using only one leg. Either you'll be pressing brake or you'll be pressing accelerator at one point of time. So like the sticker says that to start engine, press brake pedal with gear lever at end. So you need to press brake and then you need to change the mode like this. Now coming to the gearbox, here is the reverse mode. We have seen one uh, uh, reverse parking camera in the rear profile. If we put reverse, what happens? The output comes here in this uh, touch screen. So this is the uh, you know beauty of it that you can decide easily. And in the night also, the vision is really bright with the help of the LEDs in, in, in the camera and the rear parking, uh, rear lights. It gives, out your, gives you out uh, a very bright vision in the night also. So it's really helpful in everyday uh, a reverse parking situation. Right, coming to the MID, multi-information display, we have reached towards the end of our video and I'll be giving verdict as well. N as in neutral, which you see on the screen, shows the gear. If I change uh, to drive mode, D as in drive shows and number one is the uh, gear. And this has brake, uh, this shows temperature, time, and then what is the mileage my vehicle is giving. 14.7 is the mileage, which you see here and uh, there shows some lights brake it has abs as well and this light is really useful for uh, driving in hills so i have made a video which you can see of how to drive uh, empty cars in week in hills and how this uh, led helps you there and uh, coming to the verdict this vehicle is performing really well after uh driving 24955 kilometers you see here i have driven almost 25000 kilometers and i am getting average of 14.7 <laughs> in city uh with ac and in my uh, in highway i am getting 
18 to 20 with AC. Without AC, I'm getting 22 for petrol vehicle. So this is really amazing. And the cost of ownership, which is service center cost, is I have paid just 10,000 rupees uh, while visiting service centers. That includes labor cost, uh, oil, wheel balancing, everything. So 10,000 is really low cost of ownership, which is uh, USP for multi vehicle and this vehicle as well. So well, uh, coming to verdict uh, with a mileage of uh, 14 to 20 for petrol uh, on uh, on uh, city and highways uh, and uh, cost of ownership being really low and without you know having any tension to change the gear uh, in any situation this vehicle is a really a blessing for ladies old man uh, people who are uh, just beginner in driving and, and the people who are tired of driving also. So they find they will find the vehicle really easy to drive and there is no problem at all uh, in driving. So uh, I find this vehicle really, really performing. And if we, you are willing to buy this vehicle or thinking of buying this vehicle, you are thinking right. So in my upcoming videos, I would be able to tell you that uh, how to maintain a, a empty vehicle so that you can get best out of out of it and uh, uh, you will be getting better mileage uh, and a longer life from your vehicle. So in case you have liked this video, do click share and subscribe and until then uh, drive safe, wear seat belt and thank you for watching.